The hexagon, a great shape for making boxes. But to get there, we're gonna use the circle. I love circles. I've been running circles around people most of my life. As far back as I can remember, circles have been useful to me. And a great way to make circles is with a set of dividers. And the main ingredient for this hex box is going to be the radius. That radius is the same distance as each face. So keep those dividers set there for now. And each face for this box is going to be 2 and 1 8 inch. Now let's pick out our lumber. We can use our dividers to make sure that our piece is going to yield enough to finish our box. Now I've chosen which pieces will be my top and bottom and which piece I'm going to use to build the sides. I need to get them as flat and as square as I can. It's important that I do an extra good job here because we're going to be doing some long miters and I don't want that board dancing around when I pass it through the table slaw. That's right, I said table slaw. Now I'm re-choosing the spot that I want to be for the top and the bottom. I guess my artistic preference changed and that's okay. So I'm just choosing a thickness that ensures I'll get three pieces out of this. And I'm going to resaw them and between each pass I'm going to send it through the planer to help ensure I keep that flatness. With a little fancy dancing, my boards are ready to be shaped. Now the magic number here is going to be 60. We have six faces. And if you go around in a circle and you turn 60 degrees and add it up, six times, you'll end up at 360 degrees. You'll have a hex box 360. Period. That was fun, I think. Now you're just going to pass everything through, making sure that you've got it oriented in the correct direction. Keep your bevels the same. Now we're going to go back to square and cut everything to length. I want this box to be roughly nine inches tall so I can fit a bag of coffee beans in it. And we're going to do a little dado on the bottom. Before you glue this up, make sure to sand the inside. It is really difficult to sand this once it's put together. The 
Now we're ready to fit the bottom. Use your calipers, set them to the inside edge of that dado. And then draw your hexagon. This will give you an exact size. Make sure you resaw it first. It is difficult to resaw a tiny hexagon. And then, don't do that. Sometimes I get going a little too fast. I make mistakes. And that's why we need you guys. Our patrons. And everyone that supports us by buying merch. Watching our videos and subscribing. We appreciate you a lot. Now I'm marking out the top. And I've reset my calipers to the 2 and 1 8. And I'm going to cut this just a little bit proud. And don't worry about it being perfect. Because we're going to sand it down later. While it's attached to the box. I use blue tape because I don't like trying to clean the glue out. It's not a perfect science. But it definitely makes the job easier. quick and thick for the sake of the video. I wouldn't use quick and thick if I wasn't making a video. Also, shout out to Joshua. Thanks for going and picking up a cartridge. You're a good friend. Now we're going to cut the top so it fits. I'm using a flat top blade and I've set it so it will drop in and be a little bit loose on the first round. And then I take it back through and leave a little lip. And that's how I get it to click in. Unfortunately I didn't shoot that. But you play around enough, you can figure it out. I believe in you. Now we're going to use our tummy to sand this perfectly. I find that the tum tum is one of the most useful tools in the shop, and I use mine often. Unless it's upset. Now the lid on this only fits in a few positions. So I need to put a reference point. Might as well get creative. This little piece of shiny stuff looks like it'll work just fine. Just need to take some of the sharpness out of it. And we 
can't glue it in. I like to burnish my edges. This gives it a smoother feel. I'm using some Osmo top oil to finish this. It's food safe and fairly easy to apply. And if you want to order some, you can order it through us. And then we can afford my brake cartridge habit. <laughs> and there you go. The hex box. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.